How are you doing? It is second Easter day in the Netherlands, or in most part of Europe, I think. Here we uh, just work. Uh, we don't have second Easter day here. So, um, but of course I'm happy to be here because it's, you know, I'm going to work uh, with the Life is Better on the Farm collection. Also going to show you uh, what I did in the TN. I printed some pictures from Tom and Annika from yesterday from Easter. So I am ready to go for a lot of uh, fun. I have some fun things uh, uh, prepared. So like, comment and share of course for a chance to win the $50 gift certificate. Uh, for this uh, day from Friday it's Vivian Hildebrand Carden. So Vivian Hildebrand Carden. Congratulations, you won a $50 gift certificate. Um, uh, other news, we had a wonderful, wonderful weekend. So lots of snow around the house, but um, deck was clean and very sunny. So uh, I see on the screen, it doesn't show that well, but I'm, uh, I was very sunburned because I was shoveling snow and then the snow reflects to your face and it was very sunny. And so that's not a good combination. But here I am again, without makeup, but red. But uh, so what am I going to do? Tractor, barn, make a square card. I have something for maybe a slimline card. But first I'm going to finish the page in my TN because I want to add the picture, pictures from uh, Tom and Annika. So uh, let's get started. So let's turn the camera around. I see everybody's here. Um, yeah, there we go. Thank you, Anna. Hi, everybody. I see Emily, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Rose, Gina. Hi, everybody. It's going to be a fun, um, a fun hour or, you know, what time I need to kind of play here. So, um, where are you all watching from? I see Goedenavond, so that's Dutch for sure. Hi, Yolanda. Yolanda has a new store. Uh, so, for store owners, Yolanda, you are free to put the link in here to the Elizabeth Craft Designs products. Yolanda just opened a new store in the Netherlands. So, uh, Noor, most of you know that in the Netherlands know that already. But, um, I don't know if the store is open already. Is the store open already or is it just the online that you open already? I don't know, but it's gorgeous, gorgeous store. Okay, so uh, let's get started. Uh, so what I did is, let me put this away first. Because you see, I'm going to make a green one, like a John, John Deere one that we have here. Hi, Terry and Claudia and Nell. Hi, Nell. Hope you had a nice, e a nice Easter as well. So what I did, you might have seen that. I did, where is my, uh, oh, here. <gasps> so adorable. So that's my sheep. Sheep out of Wolfeld. I did this one on Friday. So if you want to um, watch this back, what I did here, you can see that on Friday. And you see what I did? So I did a little, I posted a picture, but I have a little piece of twine kind of um, woven through here. So that was fun. And then the little sheep, of course. I did some stenciling here with the stencils from the new TN, the Picture It collection. Nieuwe Kerk aan de IJssel. That's very close to, well, everything is close in Nederland. But I was born in Maasluis. So Nieuwe Kerk is past Rotterdam, correct? Yeah. And San Diego, love San Diego. Only the drive, uh, Terry, from Oxnard, where I lived at the time, to San Diego is horrible. <laughs> so um, I was expecting my order for Thursday. And I'm, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, shipping. Don't talk to me about uh, sleepless nights about those square TNs at the moment. But it's going to be okay. So, what do I have here? Uh, so, uh, here they're blowing out the eggs. Then here they were egg hunting. But I need to kind of print these a little bit closer maybe. But here they are decorating the eggs. Although I thought the outside, you see, so here Tom and Annika both painting eggs. So, it's definitely Easter. And I told you already when I put that picture in, that's uh, from the picture it's collection. Hi from uh, Belgium. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. So when I uh, uh, put this one in, I already said that's not going to be that I need to fit a picture in here. I just want to kind of, you know, uh, put pictures there. But it doesn't need to be a picture fitting in that one. Although I think the sheep is outside. So I think I'm still going to uh, put these in there because that's outside. And the sheep, sunflowers outside. Uh, the tractor and the donkey. <laughs> oh, I have to say. Watch, so the Elizabeth Craft Designs family page. If you, um, I know uh, Lisanne posted something fun already, but Alice, Alice made the tractor. She's also from the Netherlands. I think I said it correct, Alice. 
I don't know if she's here because she has three kids, uh, Josette told me. But here, she made a tractor and then a ha like a tractor hanger. So she cut this one, this part off. It's super cool. It's on the family page. So she cut this part off and then put the cow, put the cow in the hanger. So that, you see, so with that, so she made like a hanger, connected the both. So cool. So cool. So go and check out the family page because it's fun. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to add these pictures here because I want to finish this. Otherwise, I forget again. And then I can um, post, uh, I, can, I can write there when and where it was. At Urk, hi, Dirkje. I came, um, you must know that if you're living in Urk, you know there is a, um, it was a Bruna store, I think. Was it Koster? Koster, that was a customer of mine. Um, Koster, a bookstore. And... Um, I dealt with the mother at the time. I think she's retired now. But uh, I think the store might still be there. Here you go. You see, that is it. It was at the harbor. At the harbor. So you see, that's it. I love, you know, I just love that page. And I'm definitely going to add more. Um, I'm definitely going to uh, make more um, pages with, uh, uh, with the animals in here. Because I have other ideas as well that I want to do. I also, so I played in this one. Uh, what I added uh, this weekend as well. Here, just show, here, this is, well, this needs to change. But this is packing material. This is a, a packing material. And I made a page out of that. Just fun. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. Hi, Kathy, Ilva, and Laurie, and Angelique. I found the old spring basket set here locally. So now I need the chicken. Chicken in the basket. But yeah. For sure, for sure. Well, talking about, I, I know you have other stuff as well, Angelique, but um, like from the from the collection probably. But what I also, because I am mixing and matching, because I tell you it all works together, of course. So the cow, a Texas cow. I thought that was cool. So I put him out, like the, the hat on there. Then, um, oh, with this one as well. Wait, let me show you. Because I thought those little bees, you know those? That was one of my first die, and now it's with the... Uh, with the honey bear so i thought with the sunflowers maybe i need to add one with the sunflowers you see a a bee yeah let's do, put a bee in there a flying bee or a sit now he's going to sit on the because the bees um people that know that know this uh the bee was one of my first dyes i did um like really one of the first sets so that went out of collection but i really really like the bee so then I told Josette, if we do the honey bear, let's put the bee in there again for the people that don't have it because it's it's not available anymore. But oh here, let's do it here. Oh you see yellow baskets, it all comes together here. I'm just going to put it in here. You see that little bee? That is such an adorable bee. So it comes with flying, so you can let it fly, or you can let it sit on the and in this case, oh if I let it sit, I need to turn it kind of turn it around a bit. Yeah, like this. He's sitting on the oh let's do it here. He's sitting on the sunflower. That little bee is so adorable. So again, mix and match. Then I'm going to work with the barn. So again, I'm going to put more uh, characters in here because I just love that spring, summer feeling. Yeah, I've been thinking about that cowboy hat. Oh, on the farmer as well. I, tr I tried that, Angelique. That works as well. Wait, let me show you. Let me show Because I did put everything out here. There you go. You see? And then what I would do probably, uh, if you take this, the back part hair away, so you take that away because that's a little bit too big for this one. So you, you don't put the back hair on. Can I take it off? Anita, don't watch, don't watch. Because Anita made this one. I, I'm putting it back, Anita. I will put it back. No, it's too strong. No, it's too strong. I'm going to wreck it. But you can imagine if you leave that big part of the hair back, the back, then this is a perfect fit on that farmer as well, you see? So that's a very, uh, very good idea. Yeah, the honeycomb, Angelique, for behind. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. There's so much. So much, so much. And then I found this one this morning. This one. And I think it's from the door. I think it's from the door. I don't know if we still have the door, but you might have it. Or it might be from the... We have a wreath with the door and we have a wreath with the... What's it called? The reindeer, I think. But then again, for the for the Chris, for Christmas, if you have the barn, put a Christmas wreath on the barn. That will be cool. 
Too many, too much fun stuff. Too much fun stuff. Okay, let's get started with what I was supposed to do. I did the TN. Now I'm going to put this one together. So I have the barn. And this is, so doesn't need to go open then. Oh, and I found this one. This is the ladder from the fire truck with the barn. Will work really nicely. So lots and lots to combine. So what I want to do here first, I'm going to, because I like this to be a little bit darker, I took a brown, it's called pecan, but any brown, of course. And I'm going to color this paper. And you won't see it, but I see it, that I still see the nerves of the paper through that Copic marker, because that Copic marker is transparent. So I challenge you all to combine. Take, take the old dies out as well and um, combine it. Because I know there's much more to combine than what I just showed you. And that will be so much fun to see. And I know people doing it already, but I saw, oh, the tree. That's, that was Alyssa, uh, Alice as well. She did the tree. So the tree uh, made it into an apple tree. Fantastic. An apple tree. That was super cool. Just going to call this quickly. One wood. Yeah, the one wood. And the one wood in the US is sold out at the moment. We have it in the Netherlands. And we're probably going to ship some from the Netherlands here. But again, that will take a few weeks. But uh, we will get it back here as well, I think. But again, shipping is giving me headaches uh, these days on Nestle. So it's going to be that. Oh, I lost my... Uh, oh, yeah, I see. I lost something. I lost something. Oh. This. And now, of course, all my hands are Copic, but that's fine. And of course, you can use any uh, permanent marker with this or distressing for that matter. But uh, because any permanent marker is transparent. Oh, you got the worn wood. Thank you, Michelle. We don't. Uh, so I'm going to take that silver off because I was going to do the silver. But I think I lost. This is two layers. And I think I lost the silver one. So I might add that later. See if I can take this off. No, I will add the silver one later. That's fine. I cut, uh, so what I did is I cut paper and I put silver over it. Like that tape that you have for plumbing, plumbing tape it's called, I think. Uh, but I lost the silver one that I wanted to put over there. So I will do it later again. So quickly this. And this is already stuck on here, so there's no tape on the back anymore. Because I took the, those windows out. But there is tape on the back here, so I can just glue it on. And then I will tell you what I did with this. How I did that, because with the die set comes a little, so we give you options. Okay, that's it. Um, let me see, do I miss a lot of questions? Paper pass time. Oh, thank you, Carol. So for the people in Canada, Paper Pass Times has the worn wood. How are you doing, Carol? How are you doing? Okay, so what I'm going to do now, this is all has, uh, so tape on the back. So I'm just going to build this. And Paper Pastimes in Calgary has a lot of our collection. So if you're there, Carol, can people call you as well? Do you send? I don't know for sure if she sends products as well. But um, there we go. That's that one. Then the small windows go on here. I didn't line it up perfectly, but that's fine. Okay, so that's that. Then I have little windows here. So here there's acetate, and I saw that from somebody. I don't know. I have no idea who showed me anymore. But I put a little piece of washi tape on there. Otherwise, I would never, ever find that anymore. And I have that. Uh, so the die set 
comes with that little window. So this is the these are the window frames. And then this is a tiny little bit smaller than the outer frame. So when you die cut this, you can actually stick it. Oh, I forgot to cut the windows in there. I should have done that. I forgot to cut the windows. So I'm going to show you. But I cannot put my windows in because I don't have windows cut. So basically, what you do is, well, I can put it on there. But I want to cut the windows. So this, I, I will do that afterwards. So this piece is going behind there. Or I should do that. Can I do that quickly? Because I have the die cutting machine behind me. But then am I going to ruin the rest of my barn? I'm going to try. Because there's a line in the paper. So uh, you line that window up on the line. And you might not see it, but I do. And I'm going to run this. So just enjoy the other barn for a second. Oh, cool. I'm just going to cut two windows quickly. Let's see if it works. Because I might uh, press down the rest of the bar now. That's one. Oh, no, I'm good. You see, so now I have this one. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. Or just ask questions so, and you can all answer the questions for each other. Line it up and I'm going to roll it through again. There we go. Easy peasy. There we go. You see, so now I have those wings. I'm back. I'm back. So here we are. Okay. So now, so now I have the windows in here. And then I can uh, put a little piece of tape here on the sides. And that's going to be the three mil. And then I need to um, roll it up a little bit. So it's very tiny. Yeah, the barn is super versatile. I know there's a lot of barn weddings as well. So if I ever if I ever build a house, it will be a barn house because I love that style. And um, but um, barn weddings, I know there's a lot of barn weddings. I think so that will be cool to use it for that. You see, so this tape will stick out. So what I'm going to do as a shed, yeah, of course, yes. Yeah, whoops. Do that. So I'll kind of so I take the release sheet off and then basically I press this down backwards and then this can go you see and now this fits exactly over that frame. Same with this one. There we go. Oh a book, yeah. Oh that's true. That is true. There we go. And now I have my windows. Okay. Little, a uh, little uh, side uh, thing. Now these ones. Thank you, Ans. Yeah. In, in, uh, in New Jersey and Pennsylvania. Yeah. I can imagine. And it's a great location, of course. If you have a nice, uh, you know, it's nice and green and just fun. That one. You see, so that's now totally different than a red one. But I wanted to show it in the wood paper. There we go. Just open it a little bit. You see, like that. And then I have those handles. And I wanted those to be in silver. So I'm only going to put one on. So what I did with this one, I had the uh, uh, the tape over it from the, like it's plumber's tape. And um, and I had another one for here, but I need to add that. Uh, so I will do that later. But uh, what I thought was cool about this one, because kind of if you press that, that's it's looking a little bit worn. So it's not a perfect kind of nice silver handle because it's a barn. So it's probably not perfect. Okay, so that is that one. Then I have the hay for the top here. Uh, I will just do a little strip off. Yeah, Robin, we talked about it, about the felt animals. Yeah. 
about the felt animals. That is so cool. So here, just a strip of tape here. Yeah, Carol, we should do a road trip again eh, one day, yeah? I did a road trip with Carol once. Through Ca did we do it twice? Uh, store? No, stores we did once. Carol, didn't we? So much fun. So much fun. Okay, so that's going here, the hay. Just put it in there. There we go. Oh, wait. Else. I'm putting it too tight on one side. Here we go. So that's the hay. And now that can go on a card. And then I can build that card. But of course, what I want to do first is what I did earlier. I made that stencil with the um, edges. And I'm going to do that with this one as well. So I have some sky and some, um, some grass, some green. I want to go on a road trip. Oh, yeah, me too. Actually, we have, you know, we have the... Um, our feet that we normally travel uh, with to all the shows, but no shows. But um, I really, I really look forward to kind of get that started and just go somewhere. You know, you can go anywhere where there's no people and social distancing will be super easy. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. But we'll see. First... Uh, well, if, if we don't see anybody, we can go anywhere, of course. But second shot is the 19th of April. So waiting for that. Uh, move it a bit. So it's a little bit different. Different angle. Now oh, I can go there. And of course, I know there is a set. Uh, your set must have... Yeah, she has a sun as well somewhere. So you can put a sun over there or a moon or over the sky with the barn. And then the only two I need to do is the easel and the um, the easel and the pig. The two of you will have to. Come. Yeah, I know, Michelle. That would be so. And I know Carol would love that as well. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. It's a fun collection. It is a fun collection for sure. I'm absolutely having a blast working with that collection. Okay, so and I'm doing the whole line, but of course a lot of it, it will uh disappear behind the barn. Going to do a little bit of green to the bottom. That's nice. Maybe one more line. I can do this the same, of course. Road to Belgium and Holland. Oh, I want to do it again. Yeah. Oh, Val. <laughs> there's a lot of stuff. I tell you, there's a lot of good stores in the Netherlands. There's a lot of good stores. Whenever you're going and you send me a message or you send or you ask it in the family group, a lot of people will respond to your question. There's a lot of good scrapbook stores, but they're not. They're not in the big. Are there any in the big cities? No, I don't. Most of them are in smaller towns, but you know everything is close by in the Netherlands, so it should not be difficult to find so for the people that were wondering this one i cut from yuppo the yuppo paper so i use this die and that's yuppo paper i used it on friday but if you missed that that's it okay so then i got my uh, favorite tool because i don't want the straight lines So we just want to rub that up a bit. Then I can... Uh... Oh, oh, Angelique, yeah, exactly. I know, there's, there's a lot, there's a lot. Hi, Ricky here. Lots of people there. So again, like, comment and share to make a chance for the $50 gift certificates. Oh, Val, your, your husband. <laughs> so if you say you you need to put uh, like you need to put the uh, the tracking in, like the the maps in, otherwise he uh, he points you to the wrong directions. 
They are in all four. Yeah, exactly, Angelique. They are everywhere. Netherlands is, has good selection of uh, for such a small country. But we are crafty people. We, the Dutch, are crafty people. Okay. So. I think I'm going to do the standing up. <laughs> you see, if you, if you rough those edges, you don't need to do like 3D tape. Because it kind of gives a, gives a little idea already about how it looks. Small zip for my coffee. It's getting cold. Okay, so now this. I know I had a little piece of fence left. And that can be white. So I leave that white. So I just need to uh, cut that. How much do I need here? Yeah, it's only, you see, a tiny bit. And then I have enough for the other side. So I'm going to cut this one here. Put a piece of tape. Oh, I have a fun stuff to show. You know, I find something this morning. I thought, oh, that's cool for the tractor. It actually, it's a fun idea, I thought. I love re Sandra, I am not a reader. Never been. I was talking about it with uh, Mark and Joop this weekend. If I started something, if I, if I was reading something and I started it, like I need to uh, go back in a set. I'm going to edge it a little bit. I need to go back after 10 pages because I have no idea. My mind is somewhere else. <laughs> Hi, Stephanie. Nice to see you here. Yeah, my mind is somewhere else. So I have no idea what I read then. So I'm not a good reader. Never been. Never been. No, that I'll add here. That's enough. Never been. Okay, so I am going to put this one here first. Yeah, let's put that one down. You see, so this is the front page uh, from the paper I use, you see. It's the front page. Oh, wait. Little strip here. And the tape is, I think it's on its way, but again, it's on the ocean. So that will take a while, but the tape will be back in stock in not too long, I hope. Okay, that should be enough. I'm going to take this off. Here we go. Yeah, I need to do a store tour in the Netherlands. So I want to go everywhere without traffic jam. So on a Saturday or a Sunday, the stores are closed mostly. But, um, Saturday then when everything is back to normal and I can go to the Netherlands if it's taking too long and I can go and quarantine for two weeks I might just do that but it's not it's not that situation yet we're going to wait okay there uh, da, 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 da. I want something in front I want it straight so let me get my um, Gradeboog, Gradeboog, don't have that, I have a ruler, let's see, because I kind of want to have it straight, there's a lot of old barns that are almost falling over, but not mine, okay, there we go, that's that, then I have a piece of fence here, yeah, Brooke, it's it's really it's really nice. The barn is super cute, and Brooke is one of the stores. You know that I'm going to teach a workshop with uh, a square uh, with a new picture. It, um, and I'm going to talk to the ladies tonight uh, with the new picture it collection here in the uh, online an online workshop on the second of May, and it's going to be fun. I'm very much looking forward to it. So if you are interested in that workshop, you can subscribe to three, you can uh, contact three stores, everything scrapbook and stamps, papercraft clubhouse and urban paper crafter. 
Where's my tape here? Are you going, Denise? See you. Bye bye. It's going to be fun, Michelle. It's going to be fun. If you have a link, ladies, if you're uh, Michelle, Brooke, or Tracy, put it in there. It's a two hour workshop. And um, on the 2nd of May. And I think it might be a little bit longer. We'll see. But um, definitely very much looking forward to that. And you get a wonderful kit. Okay, that's the fence. Now I had um, tractor is going to be separate. I had the milk jug that I thought would be cool here. Of course, I have a sunflower. And I thought those yellow sunflowers would be cool on here. At least one. So, oh, I can, let's put it in the... I'm going to put it in the jug. Again, it's, it's such a great... Uh, yeah, Carol. Carol, Carol, Carol. It will be fun. It will be fun. Okay, so this one is just going to get a little... Oh, you already signed up, Valerie? Thank you. It's going to be fun. I'm absolutely looking forward to it. It's kind of back to teaching because I did teach a lot of classes and then it stops. So it's kind of nice to be able to go back. Not so high, just next to the barn. And then of course we have the sayings. I didn't stamp any sayings, but you can use the sayings as well. Let me show it to you so we know what's in there. So that's the sunflower in there. Then I also like this is from the you see I thought this was super cool. That's the the lantern from the camping set. Then I have the ladder and that ladder if I put it here or here if I close this door you see it goes it basically goes to that window which is cool but I think I'm going to put it on the side just ready to go. But I thought that was a cool there's so many elements in the different collections. Uh, oh Laurie you signed up as well. Oh, and Michelle, are you, did you sign up as well? Yeah, it's, it's going to be fun. It's, uh, yeah, I'm very much looking forward to it. Very much looking forward to it. So exciting. So check it out. And um, I signed up over, oh, Rhonda, you signed up over the weekend. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's really, really nice. And again, you get that square TN with it. That's probably where I have my sleepless nights now, but you know, it will be fine. Here we go. Put that there. Then I found yeah, another story. So this before the weekend, I said to you, I had a chicken. I did bring a chicken upstairs and I lost the chicken. Could not find it anymore. I said, I know for sure. You looked, I looked, no chicken. Yesterday, I found a chicken. So that's my lost chicken. Maybe I'm going to put it. Oh, that's adorable. I'm going to put it there. He's coming out of the sheds. Coming out of the sheds. Nice, Michelle. So I'll see you virtual then on the Facebook group. I see you there then. So adorable. You see, so, so you can imagine with this collection, you can just keep, keep working, keep working. It's adorable. Here, a little piece of grass here. You see? Let's do that, or a little piece of grass where the ladder is. Here. Oh, I like it there. Here, you see? The grass is just standing around and it's growing some grass there. Honestly, because with the barn, of course, um, I have the whole collection pre ordered. Can we sign up for the class? Uh, Robin, for, uh, for the US knots. It's only for outside the US that you can order without the kits. But what you get in the kit, so I think you pay $20, so it's $40. I think it's $20 without for the people outside of the US. But 40 for the people in the US. But uh, you get a square TN with it. With the kit. So, um, so it's, you know, that's already. So, and then you, so you pay $5 for the whole other stuff. For the stuff that's in the kit. So it's absolutely worth the money. But that's kind of what we uh, discussed. So, um, and I think I like the pop of orange there. Do, 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 do. 
and it'll be on there. It's also fun. Ah, so much fun. I also have a whole piece of... Um, oh, wait. That needs to stay down. Oh, I might need to do a little piece of tape behind the door. So the door stays down. Hello, Lisanne. I was just talking about your uh, great collections. Well, you and uh, uh, Alice are making such fantastic things. So much fun. So much fun. Close that one. You see, and that one can stay open. And that's, of course, what's fun about that as well. That you kind of, you know, there's some movement in there. Uh, that's that one. And then you see here I have the... Um, here, uh, the um, saying. So I, I might stab, stamp something and put it here or here. Uh, life is better on the farm, of course, cool. Hey there, can we go on here? So there's lots of things uh, uh, just checking in. Farm fresh, it's your birthday. Love grows here, so you can do that. And the love grows, by the way, I put that on my uh, card from um, that I made for the on Friday. I think I put it on there later. The love grows there. And then I also have uh, the crates. That's actually, that could be, it's just, it doesn't make it. I can, but then I hide my grass. I like the, uh, the, the kind of the uh, thing of grass there. I think that's it. I think what would be fun, because I did bring a little bit of twine, I'm just going to roll something up and hang it on the, hang it on the, uh, on the stair, like on the steps, the ladder, sorry, the ladder. Kind of just roll that up. Kind of gives it some extra fun element there. And I think there's no farm without some rope. Oh, Kirsten, I have nine hens and a fox family behind my barn. Ooh, that's a, that's a dangerous one. That's a dangerous one. That might not end well for the hens. <laughs> I hope you can keep them away. You see, I like that little uh, thing there. And I think that is it for that card. Uh, is there anything else, you know, I want to add? No, I don't think so. I have longer grass here, but that's too much. You see, so you can just, you know, kind of figure it out what you want to do. And then um, I have another sunflower. Do I want to put that here in front of the ladder? No, also too much. So this is it. This is it for this card. So I'm just going to add a saying either here or here. But um, we'll see. But I love how that turned out. And of course, you can put it up like that. So that's the barn. And then I want to put my tractor together. So I have the uh, this one. Let's put my let's put my farm card, like my barn card here. So um, I also made a piece of acetate kind of to go behind here. And again, I have a little tape on there. I colored this already. I did not have the correct green cardstock, so I took a soft finish cardstock. And colored it with a green marker. Because I wanted it to be, because here it's all John Deere. Do we have John Deere in the Netherlands? It might be a very stupid question. If it's a stupid question, forgive me. Uh, but um, here, it's, uh, here it's all John Deere. John Deere. Okay, uh, what do I have? It's going to be black, black, black. Light gray. Yellow. Yellow inside of the lights. Oh, that came off. Oh, we can just, you know what I can do as well? Just color the solids. Oh, that's, that's how it goes. See, first time I do this one, you see that. This is going to be yellow in this case when it's a John Deere. All this is, you see, so I take that off the tape and put it here now so it's easy to color for me. So far, they stayed on the side of the fence and chicken got locked up tight at night. Yeah, K Kirsten, you know they will not forget those chickens are there, eh? Don't, don't, don't think they ever forget. Oh, we have John Deere in the Netherlands. Okay. I should know, but I did not know. So John Deere has everything yellow and green and black. So that's that. 
No shit. Oh, Raquel, thank you so much. But I think sometimes, sometimes, sometimes I can ask stupid questions. But you know, it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. So that's going to be inside of the lamp. Oh, I have dirty fingers. So I might have a dirty lamp now. That's going to be green. <laughs> Is it the same? Yeah, it's the same green. It just looks so different when it dries. That you almost think that it's not the same, but it is. That one. When my born arrived, I'm Oh, I will also make. Oh, that is fun. So you hang a quilt on the barn. Judy, is that what you're going to do? I think so, eh? I cannot see. Can I see the sea more? I don't want to lose you. That was a way a sla slave knew which house was helpful. You know, we actually have. Uh, what am I doing here? I'm looking for the right side of the. Oh, here we go. Um, we have, uh, I didn't, I actually did not know that story, but one of our neighbors on the mountain, they have like wooden quilts made and they have it outside of the house. So it must have that. So this one I'm going to add because I know I didn't do a very good job lining that up. But should be good enough. It almost looks like a different green, but I think it's the only green I bought. So it must be the correct one. Oh, here I have black as well. But I had an idea what I want to do with this before I forget that. Well, that's fine. Who cares? Then I need to do black. Black, 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 black. And then I have some gray. And then I had an idea, and I don't know if that's going to work. Uh, I had an idea that I want to put some rust on the... Just going to go around like this. Because on the inside we will have the yellow. I want to add some rust to the tractor. And what I want to do, I want to use embossing powder, but not, um, not embossed. So I'm just going to put some glue on there and add a little bit of, I think it's vintage photo because I thought it looks a li little bit like rust. I should have done the light gray first because now I have black on my fingers but it's all good all right I'm going to add a little bit more rust it's the black this needs to be black you see I'm into the coloring at the moment I don't know why but I just like to because I always like the texture because uh, of the soft finish and of course we use this cardstock for the florals as well. And it's fantastic. So it has a little bit of texture to it. And that's what you will see in your work as well. Okay, that, that. Did I do that color that's correct? I did, that's fine. Yeah, that's the steering wheel. And then a little bit of light gray to the top. Yeah, uh, Carrie, absolutely. It's it needs. To, that's why I did. It. So I started in the. So I did the um, like the square T N now, but it can be in your, uh, of course, in your um, scrapbook, in your planner, in your sidekick. So I'm making this very light gray. It's a clean energy tractor, so it doesn't give a lot of dirty air. Oh, although it is dirty now because of my black finger. Let's see if I can take it off. Otherwise, I just have two, uh, two clouds because it is dirty now. Let's not use that one. I can always add a third one later. And I don't know if I'm going to put this on a card yet. So I don't know. Okay, so that should be fine. Then I'm going to take a piece to kind of build it on. But, 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 but. let's put the wheels together first. So I cannot mess up that one anymore. This one is going on. There are lines, eh? so you can line it up on the lines. 
I have black everywhere, I see. Well, I cannot wash my hands in between, so... Although I have uh, wipes, of course, because it's the world of wipes. <laughs> so I could use those. So those are the wheels. The wheels, the wheels, the wheels. And uh, I am going to take a little wipe. Because I actually have them here. So I can maybe get the ink of my hands. Maybe get the ink of my hands. And I have a piece of chicken wire. And um, if the person... Is, so I had a roll of chicken wire. That's thin chicken wire. And... Um, Somebody posted something online already with the chicken wire. And I thought, oh, I have that. The milk container carry is in the, um, in the accessory sets. Together, here, let me show it to you. It's together with, it's this one. So there's the sunflower, the crate with the apples and the pears. And then the carrots, the corn, hay bale, and the milk jug. So that's in that set. Okay, so now my idea was, let me see if that works. Because a tractor, a lot of them, I think, has a little bit of rust on there. So I did bring this, which is, I'm just going to try. This is vintage photo embossing powder. So I'm not going to use it as embossing powder. I am going to use it as, let me see, coffee filter. I'm going to use it as rust. And there's probably something out there that's real rust. There is, have you know? Thinking about it, I know I have a rust paint. I know I have a rust paint, but it's a process, I think. I think you need to do two different. So I'm just going to try it on here. I thought it would be fun to give it a little bit of, you know, I think it kind of goes with tractors. Oh, that's actually cool. I'm going to do it here. Yeah, I know there's... Uh, yeah, Penny, the, 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 the farm collection is super, super nice. Honestly, it's super nice. And again, combined with all the ones you have already, you see? So there's some rust on here now. Let me see. That actually looks fun. That looks fun. Other than that, maybe I'm going to do a little bit of rust on the front here. There we go. So now it's more a realistic uh, tractor for me. Although I don't want to offend any farmer that washes the tractor every weekend. <laughs> if there's somebody out there. But it was just my idea that tractors have rust. So I thought I'm going to try. Oh, Penny, you, you missed the sound. You can always watch back. Eh? So it's going to stay on Facebook, of course. Uh, if you go to videos, you can find all the, the lives. But you can also, uh, they're also going on our YouTube channel. So if you go subscribe to the Elizabeth Craft Designs YouTube channel, you will, there, do I say that correct? Anna, they get a notice, eh? They get a notice when we put a new video up. Yeah, so if you, if you sign up for the, uh, for the um, YouTube channel, you get a notice when the video, when the new videos goes up. Yeah, exactly. I know, Michelle, that's true. Eh? It's not always, uh, it's not always your... Uh, Sometimes it's your internet, but sometimes it's also Facebook. That is, so I'm going to put a window in. And I just cut that uh, kind of, you know, watching the, the lines of the, and just kind of laid it on there and then followed the line in this case. You don't need to do that, but I thought I'd do that this time. Oh, and then I needed to put a piece of black soft finish behind. Um, so this, you see, I have a piece of tape on here so I can find it. So this is going in here. That's that one. Then this one has tape on the back. Oh, wait, I need to put my wheels on first. The wheels on the bus go round and round. You know that song? Everybody in the US and Canada knows that song. Is it in Europe as well? That's what the kids loved. Okay, wait. That one is going here. Like this. Let's see if that works. Yeah, that's fine. 
and then this one is going here but now it needs to uh, write straight so i need a straight a ruler underneath there so it is i don't know what i'm doing here it's totally out of whack uh glue this on first this one needs to go a little bit higher i need a straight piece of paper kind of to find i have that here this one is straight the other one was not. this is a straight bottom so that's good okay here we go because you see it's still not straight this needs to go higher there we go and this one and i might do some 3d tape on there i have those little circles here now I have that song. Oh, you know it as well, Isam. <laughs> is it in Dutch or do you have it in... Uh, Lisanne, is it in Dutch or is it... Uh, do you learn it in English? I don't know. When Mark and Josette were little, I don't know about that song. But, but it's definitely a song that stays in your, uh, in your mind. And you kind of say the wheels of the tractor go round and round because that's you know doesn't doesn't kind of flow very uh, very nicely. So some three D foam on here. Oh, I have my. No, that's good actually. That one. And now I need to cut this one smaller. You see, so I see my uh, my caps are higher than uh, this one from Josette or from Anita. But I think with a tractor they are quite high, so but that's of course whatever you prefer, that's all fine. I know, just like a John Deere, yeah. Uncle Harm had a farm. Is that an hia hia ho? <laughs> now I hear everybody singing at home. <laughs> I don't know if that's. <laughs> Oh, do you hear? Somebody has trouble here outside. I hear, no, no. I think they're trying to load something that doesn't work well. Okay, here we go. And then the... Oh, I love my little rust. I love my little rust. Okay, this one, the lamp. Goes here. Hip. And then this on there, just a little bit of glue. Yeah, it can be higher, isn't it? Even higher than this? I don't know. But I need to have a piece of black cardstock behind there. Otherwise, uh, but I will go, I have that here for sure. Get the glue away here. So now make sure that that is straight. And then the steering wheel. Oh, I love that. That will be so nice for a boy's cart. Or uh, as you say, in a scrapbook, that will be super fun. Yeah, that was old McDonald's. Yeah, that's what I thought as well. But it's kind of what, when I saw the text, so it, it sounded like uh, the text of old McDonald's. Kind of the... So I don't know. But that's exactly what I thought, Angelique. We can sing that as well, eh? We can sing that as well. Okay, so that is that one. And I need a piece of black cardstock behind. I know I have that for sure. Behind that uh, piece there. So I'm just going to make a little bit longer. Color it black. And that goes behind the, f the fan there. Should be enough. Oh, I can just do a little bit of glue as well. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Grew up driving on those on the farm. Who did? Who did, Jen? I've never driven a tractor. I've never driven... Let's see if I... Oh, yeah, that's good. Okay. Here we go. So, now... Um, 
let me see if I can, what's the time oh it's almost time so um i don't think i'm going to put it on there but i want to give the idea because i saw this from somebody else but i'm going to show you something that i'm going to work on but probably not today i might this one might end up on a slimline card because i know that works you see but i don't know for sure yet then i the chicken wire so you can actually you see this can go on the slimline card i bought this and then I can put sunflowers on there. I can put chickens in there. And so that's just cool stuff that you can cut with your Tim Holtz scissor. So easy peasy. And uh, so I have that. It goes somewhere. But I don't know exactly where yet. Oh, my embossing powder. My rust comes off. So I need to add a little bit more glue there. I will do that later. So that's an idea. But the idea I had that I'm going to work with is, you see, I have the um, the that one I found my zipper die I found my zipper die from look at that from the new TN collection and I thought that would be a great track for my tractor and I also have it in black I can cut it in gray so I think that would be fun to, put, to use for my tractor. So that was something I came up with here. Which I thought was fun. So but I again I think I'm going to. You see because that, that one will drive somewhere. It will absolutely have some sunflowers somewhere. Or some corn. Or uh, you know maybe, maybe that's a thing with a cow in it. Because that actually looks super cool. So lots and lots to play with. Thank you Terry. That was uh, my only bright moment from the day probably. <laughs> but at least I had one. But I think it will be nice. So I need to see which color I'm going to cut it out. But it actually, you see, it, it almost looks like the track. It's the track of the of the tires. So um, again, for this collection, contact your store. I know some put a link in here. And I will be back. Oh, I need to look at the camera. Oh, there I am. <laughs> That's going to take a while. I'm going to just be talking down, down on the table. Uh, so I want to thank you all for watching. Again, like, comment and share to win the $50 gift certificate. Uh, check out my workshop links that are in here. So that is going to be with the square TN. You can choose your color in black or in white. So it's going to be uh, Papercraft Clubhouse, Urban Paper Crafter or everything Scrapbook and Stamps. So um, going to be fun, 2nd of May. And... Um, Oh, I had a tag as well. You see, this will be fun as well for, for kids, for, for, you know, presents. So, oh, it, you know, it's got stuck on here. It needs to stay on here. You see my uh, little track. But you can imagine gift tags. You know, the, the collection is endless. It is super fun. So um, I'll see you again on Wednesday at uh, same time, 12 o'clock. Bye-bye.